Hi, let's know about coronavirus, introduction, mode of transmission, symptoms, lab diagnosis, treatment and prevention. Here you can see this one is the subacute respiratory syndrome coronavirus structure. This one spike glycoprotein trimmer in brief S. This part is the nucleoprotein in brief N and RNA genome. This part membrane protein in brief M and this one envelope a small membrane protein pentamer in brief E. So this one is the typical structure of SARS-CoV. Introduction Coronavirus is a group of spherical or polymorphic medium-sized 100 to 150 nanometer enveloped RNA virus containing pectal or club shaped peplomers on the surface as shown above picture. Their name coronavirus is due to crown shape. Corona meanings crown. These viruses belong to family coronaviridae. And there are four genera alpha coronavirus, beta coronavirus, gamma coronavirus, and delta coronavirus. These viruses infect mammals and birds, causing disease of respiratory tract, gastrointestinal tract, liver, kidneys, and even nervous systems. While there are seven strains of human coronaviruses, and there are human coronavirus 229E. Second, human coronavirus. OC43. Similarly, subacute respiratory syndrome coronavirus in brief SARS CoV. Number 4, human coronavirus NL63. Number 5, human coronavirus HKU1. Number 6, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus in brief MERS CoV MERS CoV previously known as Novel Coronavirus 2012 and HCOV EMC now number 7 Novel Coronavirus 2019 NCOV in brief also known as Yuhan Pneumonia or Yuhan coronavirus. Novel in this case means newly discovered or newly originated and is a placeholder name. As you know, coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan in China. Note the coronaviruses SCOV 229E NL63 OC43 and HKU1 continually circulate in the human population and cause respiratory infections in adult and children worldwide but not important as other resting strains like SARS-CoV, MERS-CoV and today burning issue 2019 and also called Yuhan coronavirus so now about a little bit about severe acute respiratory syndrome and its causative agent in November 2002 South China had an outbreak of an unusual respiratory infection with many deaths in February 2003 a physician from China visited Hong Kong, fell ill and died after infecting 12 people or persons. These 12 persons went to their 
countries to fall ill and also initiated outbreak there. In February, in Hanoi, Vietnam, an unusual case of pneumonia was reported by a hospital which sought the help of WHO office in the connection. Dr. Carlo Urbani, the WHO infectious disease specialist, advised for the quarantine. But by then, outbreaks had involved many countries including USA, Canada, Ireland, Hong Kong, China, Taiwan and some European countries and many countries in Southeast Asia. This new disease was named Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. In brief, SARS. It affected over 30 countries with many thousand cases and about 800 deaths. India escaped the SARS outbreak. Dr. Carlo Urbani, who identified this new epidemic, participated in this control and died of the disease. Point to be noted, died of the disease. Who? Dr. Carlo Urbani. A coronavirus was found in the respiratory secretion of these patients by electron microscopy and confirmed by growth in vero cell culture, that is cell line, cloning, sequencing, and animal inoculation. This coronavirus appeared to be a new virus different from the other coronavirus and this strain is SARS-CoV, that is Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus. Now about Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and its causative agent. In September 2012, a new type of coronavirus was identified initially called Novel Coronavirus 2012 and now officially named Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus in brief MERS-CoV. MERS -CoV. The World Health Organization issued a global alert soon after. The WHO update on 28 September 2012 stated the virus did not seem to pass easily from person to person. However, on 12 May 2013, a case of human-to-human -human transmission in France was confirmed by the French Ministry of Social Affairs and Health. In addition, cases of human-to-human -human transmission have been reported by the Ministry of Health in Tunisia. Two confirmed cases involved people who seemed to have caught the disease from their late father who became ill after a visit to Qatar and Saudi Arabia. Despite this, it appears that the virus has trouble spreading from human to human. As most individuals who have infected do not transmit the virus, by 30 October 2013, there were 124 cases and 52 deaths in Saudi Arabia. After the Dutch Erasmus Medical Center sequenced the virus, the virus was given a new name, Human Coronavirus Erasmus Medical Center, ESCOV EMC. The final name for the virus is Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, MERS-CoV. In May 2014, the only two United States cases of MERS-CoV infection were recorded, both occurring in healthcare workers who worked in Saudi Arabia and then traveled to the United States. One was treated in Indiana and one in Florida. Both of these individuals were hospitalized temporarily and then discharged. In May 2015, an outbreak of mars -CoV occurred in the Republic of Korea when a man who had traveled to the Middle East visited four different hospitals in the Seoul area to treat his illness. This caused one of the largest outbreak of mars -CoV outside of the Middle East. As of December 2019, 2468 cases of mars -CoV infection had been confirmed by the 
laboratory tests and 851 of which were fatal and mortality rate of approximately 34.5 percent now about novel corona virus 2019 ncov also called yuhan corona virus which is burning issue nowadays in december 2019 a pneumonia outbreak was reported in yuhan china on 31 december 2019 the outbreak was traced to a novel strain of coronavirus which was labeled as 2019 ncov by the world health organization according to the daniel Lucy at georgetown university the first human infection must have occurred in november 2019 or earlier as of 30 january 2020 there have been 214 confirmed deaths and more than 8230 confirmed cases in the coronavirus pneumonia outbreak the yuhan strain has been identified as a new strain of beta coronavirus as we discussed earlier the genera of coronavirus alpha coronavirus beta coronavirus gamma coronavirus and delta coronavirus among them this one is the beta coronavirus this is the beta coronavirus genus from group 2b with an nearly 70 percent genetic similarity to the sars cov this virus was suspected to have originated in a snake but many leading researchers disagree with this conclusion daniel Lucy, an infectious disease specialist at georgetown university stated that now it seems clear that the seafood market is not only the origin of the virus now in details about novel coronavirus mode of transmission cough or sneezes from infected person or touching contaminated objects symptoms of novel coronavirus symptoms are divided into two com common and severe symptoms so common symptoms includes fever after two to seven days develop a dry cough mild breathing difficulties at the outset gastrointestinal issues diarrhea general body ache while severe symptoms includes high fever 100.4 fahrenheit or higher pneumonia kidney failure an event death so how can you diagnose now about laboratory diagnosis polymerase chain reaction in brief pcr reverse transcriptase pcr in brief rt pcr has been used for early diagnosis isolation of virus nasopharyngeal washings are used for the isolation of virus human coronavirus can be cultured in human fetal tracheal organ culture some strain may grown on mono layers of diploid human embryonic fibroblast with minimal cytopathic effects similarly demonstration of antigen coronavirus antigen can be detected in respiratory secretions by elisa test similarly antibody detection the rise in titers of antibodies in paired serum samples can be demonstrated by the elisa or indirect immunofluorescence test now about treatment and prophylaxis so there is lacking proper antiviral drugs and vaccine and therefore no specific treatment or prophylaxis is available the virus is highly mutable hence vaccine may not be easy to prepare however preparation in trial in this period strict isolation and quarantine are the only ways to control the disease the most important things is prevention as you know prevention is better than cure novel coronavirus has just been declared a public health emergency of international concern by the who 
here are few ways to protect yourself your children and even your community therefore follow these points wash your hands frequently using alcohol based sanitizer or soap and water when coughing and sneezing cover your mouth and nose with your flexed elbow or a tissue then throw away the tissue immediately and wash your hands here tissue indicates tissue paper avoid close contact with anyone who had a fever and cough seek medical care early if you have a fever cough and difficult difficulty breathing and tell your doctor about your travel history if you visit a live market in an area with reported cases of coronavirus avoid direct unprotected contact with the live animals and surface they have touched do not consume raw or undercooked animal products handle raw meat milk or animal organs with care to avoid cross contamination with uncooked foods i hope this information will be helpful thank you for watching have a great day